hair. Hair is all sorts of crazy today. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my March favorites for you. I'm really excited about this video because I have been trying out tons of new products over the last couple months. Let's just jump right into my March favorites. I am going to start off with hair care products. I'm going to first start off with the Tresemme Split Remedy. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so great. I don't even know what drew me to this. I honestly just saw it, I believe at Walmart one day. There's kind of a glare. And I was like, you know what? I've always had problems with split ends. I'm going to grab this baby. And it is a leave-in a leave-in split end can I can't even talk. It's a leave-in conditioner for split ends, pretty much. First of all, it smells so good. Like I just can't right now. Like it smells so good. Um, usually what I do with this, I use this probably about three, two to three times a week. I do brush my hair out first and then work this through the ends. You're supposed to work this from ends to roots, kind of like every other leave-in conditioner. I actually don't put this on my roots at all. I work it from the bottom to probably about right here. I do not take it up further than that just because I feel like products, conditioning products tend to make my hair look greasy and then I need to wash it more, um, which is not good for healthy long hair or hair in general so that is how I use this uh this is I don't want to say it's really old but I got this given to me uh, two-ish years ago by my friend Rachel who does my hair she gave me this little Kerastase I can't even say this Touche Finale I don't know I don't know how to say this I'm probably butchering it touch final touch finale anyway it's a glossing serum it looks like this probably can't even see that i put it on after i'm done straightening or curling i just put one because a little goes a long way with this product i put about one pump in the palm of my hands and then i just kind of apply it through merge this one I do put a little bit more just kind of through here just because it helps frizz and flyaways and it just makes your hair look so glossy and healthy and gives it a shine. So yes, this is so good and I don't even know, this is terrible, I don't even know where you buy it. I'm assuming you can find it at certain salons. Google it, I don't. Shout out to Rachel for giving this to me because I've been using it a lot and I love it. Next, I'm just going to jump right into makeup. I have three blushes to mention. I'm sure you can tell what the first ones are gonna be and they are the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blushes. Oh my gosh. First of all, this In a Purple Haze. <gasps> can you, oh my gosh. Like seriously, I know a lot of people probably see this and they're like thinking, mm. I'm not trying to have purpley pink blush on. It is what I am wearing today on the apples of my cheek and I love this. This blush is just so beautiful. I am just going to swatch it for you. And, ugh, like seriously. I mean, it's, it's so, so pigmented and so easy to blend out and so beautiful and the next one is princess daiquiris which is more of an orangey pink it's like a it makes me think of a sunset which like i absolutely love like that's what drew me to it and that one's not obviously as noticeable it is you know just more of an orangey pink but these blushes are so worth it i want to say they were like 4.99 at Target. So I would definitely look at Target. I'm sure um, they have it at Ulta. I haven't checked there yet, but I haven't seen it in any other drugstores yet, even Walmart. So check your Target, check online, check Ulta. These ombre blushes, you do not want to miss out. They are so gorgeous. And my third one is another Wet n Wild blush, and it is their new formula for their color icon. And this is in Rose Champagne. 
it's just a beautiful darkish nude neutral blush and it is seriously just so beautiful it I've been wearing it on days where I don't do a heavy contour or if I want my cheeks to look more tan. This has been my go-to. I love this and I did not think that I would ever like a nude blush just because I'm very girly and I want like beautiful pinks. As you can tell, I love that purple pink one. I don't tend to go to neutral blushes kind of I'm I'm that way with lipstick too I'm finally stepping out of my comfort zone and discovering nude lip colors that I like wet and wild you are doing something so right with these new blushes I cannot get enough of them and you cannot beat them for the quality and the price I think this one was like $2.99 so next since we're talking about blushes I will pick this this was actually in my ipsy bag this month for March and it is the pixie by Petra blush duo in rose gold and I haven't even tried the pink side <laughs> I'll be honest but as soon as I saw this I'm like oh my god this light shade would be beautiful for highlighting and it looks like this and oh my god it is the highlight i am wearing today can you not just oh my god like look at that highlight like have you seen anything more perfect in life enough like i've been just like flopping it everywhere i wear it on the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow <gasps> packing it on my cheeks girl you know what i'm saying next if you watched my last video which was a neutral spring makeup look you know that i have been absolutely adoring this naked skin concealer and i wear the color fair neutral <laughs> literally the lightest slash whitest one i could find I love this stuff. It is so good for under the eye, any blemishes you have on your face. It covers so well and I am a full coverage girl. This is like such a great formula. It's creamy. It blends out wonderful. Like you, it doesn't get any better than this. I know it is a higher end makeup product so it is more pricey. I want to say it was like $20 and I did get it at Ulta. So I only have one eyeshadow product for you this month and it is the NYX Cosmetics Prismatic Shadow in Jaded. I filmed a tutorial with this for St. Patty's Day and then I did not get it up in time. So I kind of just nixed it, but I will be doing probably a look with this in the future because it is just so beautiful. It is a very, like it says, prismatic, shimmery, glittery, oh, it is so beautiful. Like, I'm not kidding. One swatch. Ready? That is one light swatch. I hardly even dipped my finger in there. And that is the color payoff. Actually, this got me so excited to look into getting some of their other colors in the prismatic eyeshadows. Because this baby is just so beautiful. And this is one of the ones I was talking about with stepping out of my comfort zone. Because I would not usually typically wear green eyeshadow but in doing that tutorial i like fell in love with it next i have four i'm sorry i have three lip products to mention first of all i'm going to mention obviously if you watch youtube videos at all you know about this the kat von d everlasting liquid lipstick in lolita it is this baby it is what i'm wearing on my lips today i love this so much it definitely lived up to the hype because I watched quite a few videos and reviews on YouTube about it before purchasing it because they are 20 bucks a pop, which to me for a lip product is a lot. But Kat Von D, her makeup line never disappoints. Every product I've ever tried by her has been so amazing. So I took the leap and I bought this baby. It had been sold out for so long and I finally found it at my local Sephora and had to try it. And as you can tell, it is just... Oh, I can't even describe the color. It's like a deep nudie mauve. I can't even like really describe it. Like a soft brownish mauvey pinky. Oh, it's just so beautiful. It stays on so long. Um, I don't have to worry about 
drinking certain products in different cups and it getting all over my face or smudging or smearing or anything it is locked in for the day until I take it off with a makeup removing wipe and I just love it and what a surprise my next two are NYX products first I'm going to mention their soft mitt lap blah, blah, soft mitt lap cream soft matte lip cream their soft matte lip cream in Athens. It is a nude, very, very nude color. The only thing that I wish was a little bit different about this is the formula. I wish more came out on the applicator because I feel like it doesn't give you that much and it's already a light color. So but it is kind of this perfect nude with like an orangey kind of undertone. It's one of those ones that it is kind of drying, but it literally will not come off on anything, which is amazing. When I've been wearing these a lot just because I've always been a normal average lipstick girl, but lately I'm like, I put on lipstick and then I go to drink something and I'm like, oh, this is gonna come off everywhere but this does not go anywhere. It stays on your lips. It does not go outside the lines. You can drink whatever you want. You can eat whatever you want. It doesn't come off on your food. I love this stuff. And last but not least, my obsession is getting horrible. I bought two of these. I have not tried out the other one, but I'm sure I will in the next few weeks, is their, the NYX Liquid Lip Suede Cream Lipstick. And this is in Life's a Beach. It is just the perfect coral coral lipstick oh my god it is so creamy and so pigmented and so beautiful i will say for beginners the applicator is a little bit difficult to use it's like one of those bendy i don't even know what you would call that but i would definitely advise putting a lip liner on before to kind of help keep you in the lines because this is a little bit difficult to use if you're not used to liquid lipsticks or anything like that. Last but not least, I'm going to mention some makeup brushes. I got a bunch of the new Wet n Wild Cruelty Free brushes in the mail a month and a half ago. And they were the pink ombre brushes. You may have seen them on their Instagram account or website and they look like this. Um, yes, they are getting dirty, especially these two. I will go ahead and talk about this contouring brush. I use it every day to contour. It is angled, so it is perfect for getting that perfect contour. I use this in my how to contour for beginners video, and I absolutely love it. It needs to wash really bad, but it is so perfect. I want to say this was a dollar ninety nine ninety cents or a dollar ninety nine. They are so affordable. Second one I want to mention is the blush brush and again i use this every day with my blush i used it today it just blends it out so great it gets the perfect amount of product on it and so you don't have to worry about going overboard it just is so so good and third probably one of my favorite my very favorite is the blending brush i will be getting more of these these were 99 cents on the wet n wild website i think you can also find these definitely at walgreens this blending brush is what I used in my last video for my spring look. I use it today. I use it pretty much every day. It is just the perfect shape. Perfect. Oh, it just blends things out. So great focus. So great. And I love this. So that was my March favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go buy some new makeup products. Treat yourself. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.